Today we will talk about preferential preferential of generators. Now if we have one generator running and suddenly you start some component for example steering motor or mooring winches and this generator starts getting overload then it might trip and cause blackout. So in order that there is no blackout there is a safety feature known as preferential trip. So what is this is as soon as this generator senses that it is going to get overloaded it will switch off power to some of the non essential items for example galley hot plate and uh, some deck lights accommodation air condition and it will avoid the blackout so at the same time the second generator if we have put it on auto start it will start automatically and then it will be connected to the first generator and run in parallel and then it will share the load and as soon as it starts sharing the load one or two minutes it will take then all the items which were switched off non-essential items will again be switched on so this is about Preferential trip. Now let's do one more topic about the safety drills, training drills. Should they be announced or unannounced? Now if it's a drill, normally it should be announced. Announced means few hours before the drill, all the ship's crew will be aware that the drill will be held at a certain time. And unannounced means that there will no there will be no notice. So training drill is recommended to be announced because of two reasons. The first reason is that if it is unannounced, people will be working somewhere on the deck or engine room and they will take some time to come to the drill. So the duration of the drill will be long. And the second reason is, in emergencies, that it is always unannounced. And if you have unannounced also for the training drills, ship's crew cannot differentiate between actual emergency and training drill. So if there is an actual emergency, they might assume it's a drill and they might take some more time to come to the drill.